Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and I'm up this morning with two design team hauls, one from KS Craft and one from KLJ UYP. It might be a long video so I'm just going to get stuck straight in. Right, first up is a KS Craft envelope. It's a large die and obviously I'm going to be making these. This one actually measures point to point here on the cut line. I don't know if you can see that. That is 10 and a quarter inches. So that is a lovely size. Now I need to make it so that you're going to see the fullness of it but it comes with stamps and it comes with little envelope seals there. One is a heart, one is love. These are the stamps. Now of course tomorrow is Tutorial Tuesday so I'm going to grab some of these and use that as the tutorial. Next up is a set of stamps coming with an ATC coin. ATC card and ATC pocket. Now this one is totally different to the one that I designed a couple of months ago so this one would complement that one. Next up is words and you know exactly what I'm like for reading backwards. I'm no good but I can see fantastic celebrate and treasured and I haven't got a clue what that one is but when I come up tomorrow I'll cut those out because we might use them in the project and then I have a camera mini album which is super cute I can measure that one that one's a fraction over five and a half inches by four almost four and a half inches. Now if you've got that um, very popular iris lens opening die it would look awesome in this. I'm sure it would fit. Then we have a little set of insta frames and a film strip with the words memories attached to it. Then these go with the slimline dies and this is a set of houses and they kind of mirror each other so that you can layer them and for them not to have the same house behind the other if you know what I mean. So they are identical houses they're just mirrored so that what's on this end is on that end on the other one and we'll probably use these tomorrow. And then I have two sets of film strip dies which are huge and I can measure these because of the way they are and that's a fraction under nine inches. These will also go on the slimline dies and almost three and a quarter inches. So you get a three um, opening and you get a two opening. Next up slimline dies again and we've got waves, sea, hills and um, more sort of like scrolling ocean waves. These would look gorgeous actually cut in white with little sharks dotted about all over the place for shark week. So that's that one. I have some more words and as you know and I've just said I'm absolutely useless at reading backwards. I'm not even going to attempt it so as I say I'll be up tomorrow and I will have cut these out. And then slimline die frames and I believe that one says friend. Yes it does. <laughs> oh, got one right and that is the slimline layering die. It's got stitching all on the inside of that and a fraction over no actually it's not it's nine and a quarter inches exactly so I like to go to the cut lines by four and a quarter inches so that is that one 
and then another layering piece for those dies and this one does fit because I tried it before see it's nine so the biggest base die of the slimline is nine and a quarter by four so that does fit on top of there and then we have a slimline box another one that needs to be made and I think that says greetings that's that word and then it comes with a little frame and all other little bits that you can pop on there you can cut out little windows as well another one to make and then we have the starry background once again fitting those slimline dies and then we have the Halloween set for the slimline dies which is pumpkins you get cats if I turn it that way and you also get blood drips I guess you could also use those in the winter as well like icicles if you cover them with snow paste and some glitter once again putting them down on top of there because they all fit perfectly and then we have roads and we also have one of those little channels that will cut out so that you can use a penny or something to make a little car roll up and down there in the roads and the hill. That's the layering piece. Once again, fitting the slimline dies. And then we get to mountains and we've got high mountains and we've got low mountains and once again fitting those slimline dies so you can get everything there that will match for you and then I was sent a set of stamps so I can turn those around so that you can see the words that you're getting there on that set of stamps I'll just loiter for a few seconds so that you can read it so that is the stamp set and then this stamp set is designed by me and this one is a vintage style um, I've forgotten what you call it now what's that tape that plastic tape that you punch out that's what it's based on and then the uh, numbers are typewriter keys and you do get quite a few words in that quite difficult to read them I think but if I hold it up and loiter you can have a look I mean these kinds of stamps are great for doing your ATCs your altered art and your mixed media and I did stamp a few because of course I designed them and I wanted to see what they look like so on a strip of card there I just stamped a few out and of course you can cut them out and you can pop them onto your little projects so that's that stamp set right and also I was sent some little clear drop stones little water drop stones she sent me some round ones so you can get a close-up here these are little teardrop shaped ones they're really really pretty and these aren't they gorgeous little heart shaped ones I really like those and of course being clear you can use alcohol ink if you want to and make them whatever color that you want right next up and I'm just going to oh no actually there's another KS craft here so right, they use similar labels KLJ UIP and it can get confusing and that is this one which is almost like a, a huge dandelion I think I'm going to make this one tomorrow because I think it would look fabulous just layered up like a huge pom-pom like ornament uh, and it would be great to hang on a Christmas tree or just dangle around I just think that's really really pretty and it's huge so I'm going to measure it because it's so big right get the ruler the right way around and going from end to ends there it's five inches so it is absolutely huge you could do wonderful things with that I mean if you cut that with felt and uh, put it on a headband for a little girl that would look absolutely awesome so anyway that's KS craft and I'm just going to move my pile over to the left so that I don't confuse them 
and we're going to go in with KLJ UYP and I'm going to put my sheets of plastic down so I know when I pick them up after which box I have to keep them in and it's a slimline die and all of these are the same dimensions and I've already measured those before and you've got hugs and you've got two sets of clouds that fit in that aperture and this layers up on top of here those apertures they mirror the edge of the slimline die so that's really pretty and then I was sent a cloud set which I can measure and you've got that lovely little sort of um, I don't know what you'd call that renaissance type swirl in the middle and that is five inches by six and a quarter inches and next up is it looks almost like a Persian rug doesn't it with that sort of like cut out very Moroccan and then you've got that sort of like postal cogwheel type edge on it yeah I would say Persian rug for that one and that would look gorgeous done in real hot Indian summer colours which is probably what I'll do with a lot of gold I think that's really pretty and then we get to the cutesy ones of course these look great when you've got little critters running around on them you can have it that way and create some kind of scene that way you can put it whichever way you want to but those little stripes um, of stitch in there in between the panels they could represent the roads so if you've got any of those tiny little cars and I think I have some in my stash somewhere they, they could all be little roads and you could put little trees and all sorts of things behind and all kinds of cute critters so that one once again slimline die all the same measurements and another one I quite like this because as you look at it you can see it's it's got perspective it's kind of it's not coming towards you it's going away from you and uh, that kind of reminds me of a Victorian style fish tank because they used to have them as octagonal shapes and all sorts of things you know like Captain Nemo so I don't know sort of like under the sea looking through submarine windows or something I think that's a great die it would also be a great masculine one once again fits all the slimline dies next up I have another slimline set which is the honeycomb and you've got this little scroll dotty border if I can get in there that's really really pretty that would make a great shaker got a honeycomb so you could put all your bees and your little insects and things on there butterflies very pretty another slimline die and you've got this sort of like balustrade um, strip here and you've also got a little tassel strip and then you've got that sort of like broderie on glaze edge. These would also look nice layered up with um, the planner dies if you have them. Because a lot of these elements are in the planner die sets. But they've just been scaled down for the slimline dies. So they would look pretty layered up on your pages too. Next up is another slimline and this time it's a set of curtains isn't that great turn it that way around you can see you've got a pair of curtains and then you've got the frill edge that goes along the top I never know what those are called don't really use curtains I've got blinds <laughs> that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it and you've even got look the little tie backs so you can have a little sort of like diorama stage set going on there Maybe you could fussy cut a photograph of a grandchild, ballet dancing across there or whatever it is that you want to do. But um, make a great sort of like Christmas pantomime, deflate a mouse or something, some kind of ballet going on there. Yes, really like that. And of course, it fits all the slimline dies, which is why I'm stacking them all on top of each other. And then next up is another sort of Persian style plate which is really pretty and if you've got lots of bottles of stickles and I don't know if you like me you end up with sort of like just a tiny little bit left in the bottom if you stack them all up upside down overnight and let it all run out you could put sort of like different dots of stickles all through there 
and uh, really make it look glamorous, especially if you're using gold foil cardstock to cut that out. So that's another one, very pretty. And then we get to some little banner flags coming in different shapes here. You've got little paw prints, you've got hearts, you've got diamonds, and, the, and you've got stars. And I flip it over, and then you've also got a plain stitch set there that you could stamp onto. Those are really cute. I like those. And then we have another set, and I'm going to have to open this to see what it is because I haven't looked inside yet and if I pop these out so I can open them out and I believe somebody will correct me if I'm wrong but this is a phone I think it's the face of a phone because you've got the uh, the arrows and what have you going on there you've got the speaker bit I think this is a notepad because you've got a clip and you've also got uh, call me on it. Yeah, so this is a phone. And then you've got all the little chat boxes, the message boxes and another one. And I think this is, yeah, this one is a smaller version of this one, which is a larger version. So that's what they are. They're cell phones. They're things that I don't use. <laughs> I refuse to be disturbed. I'll just use my husband's instead. <laughs> I'll just let him suffer. Right, so that is the haul from KLJ UYP and KS Craft Store. And as usual, all links are below. And for the tutorial tomorrow, I'll be selecting something out of this stash and we'll be making it. So you have a fabulous day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.